Hey yo, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to week 8 of Sagu Esports um, here in the ECAC regular season. Sagu Valorant will be taking on Loyola College tonight here. My name is 414, I'm joined here with Centix, and we will be your casters for tonight. Mm -hmm. It looks like we will be getting directly into this match here. Yep. It will be um, Sagu attacking first on Icebox I believe, mm -hmm. and very it should be a good match tonight. A very interesting choice because they actually did pretty well against Icebox last Last oh, no. week, if you guys did not see that video stream on us, but we're going to be doing something a little bit different here. We do not have observers today, but we do are we are coaching, so we can see our team, but we cannot see uh, Loyola's. Is that yep. how you pronounce it? Loyola's. I think it's Loyola's. Loyola's yep. uh, uh, perspective or position. So we'll just be streaming on our side today, but we do have mm -hmm. our first map as Icebox. What do you think about this? I mean, I definitely think it's one that Sagu can hold control on. I think it's something that they're very good on. It's yeah. just a matter of you got to wait a few rounds, figure out how the other team plays. Once you got it figured out, then you got to go while you still can and capitalize yeah. on the eco rounds and just went out as much as possible. I mean, that's essentially what you want to do. Yeah, we are starting this really quickly because we are actually already in game. We started just a little bit late today. We had a little bit of complications with our stream <laughs> set up as, as, as Kyle chuckles over here. And we are going gift. into our Be first game of the night. If you guys hear background noises, that is us behind us. We have a Halo scream as well. So we are really sorry about that. <laughs> yep. No, Halo getting their work in just as much as these Valorant guys want to play. Oh, yeah. And I mean, it's always packed here at the Esports Arena oh, here in Adam Building. And you got to love it, man. Mm -hmm. You got to love it. They've been having a phenomenal season. Everyone um, going positive, qualifying for playoffs. This last week is just for, for placement, mm -hmm. kind of for funsies. And getting ready for yeah. the Thanksgiving break we have. Getting ready, getting ready. Now we already set in the game again. Like we said, we can only see on our team. We cannot see on the enemy team. The enemy has denied observers in the full game, but we are allowed right coaching uh, for, right for us as a stream. So we are going in the first round right now. As Kayla Knife goes on A, a little mid push by Sagu. Kayla have a little bit slow, but the chamber does teleport away. Nose, Intel, and Nose. Sagu kind of just trying to be patient here. They're going to back off this mid push as they find Intel on the Reina on B side, and they're going to loop around to the A site. Where there's no waiting KO for them that we saw the knife come out earlier. Mm -hmm. But I mean, things could have moved, things could have changed. Smoke's that down. Can push on A. This heavy, heavily positive side that oh, yeah. um, everybody likes to push on Icebox. KO is silenced by Arcade, who is right now being played by a few Wado. If I'm correct, it is Wado, which means that Clutch is Smoke's going to down. chamber. Brimstone again playing by Bipolar. Jericho playing Sage again. Sage is really good on this map, especially on B point, having that Sage wall. And Wado trying to get tricky with it, gets taken out in the process. And it's been a quiet round so far. Oh, oh, last last player standing. Everyone slowly falls down. Clutchshire has to 1v5 in order to clutch out the first round. He's, he finds Next. one. Oh. Loses a lot of health in the process. Tries to jump out, finds one, but gets taken out with the jump beat. And Loyola will go up 1 up. It's still a first round. This is anybody's game. It does not Lead matter who wins the first story. round. It gives a little bit of a of a money boost towards the winning team. Kia. But like we said, it's just not Kia. that important towards the whole entire game completely. Definitely. And something that um that Loyola needs to capitalize on with this bonus round with the extra eco that they have over Sagu, they're able to buy. It's just a matter of will they. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of a Oh you in perk. Oh, I got Kill you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> We are right now going into this second round. Silva, what looks like to be playing by Ognan, a little bit weird on 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 uh, Icebox, but we are. Enemy spotted B. He's gonna try and see if he can he can capitalize, on him. He can see what he can do with that. Jericho trying to see a little bit of the Spectre going out. Saint does take Jericho down in the mean pro in the meanwhile. Spike down B. Saint does get another kill by bipolar, maybe trying to set up a smoke, but we don't know for sure. Clutch shot is going on the left side. Oh, Bulldog dog by chamber killing Wado. They do have the long range right now. Last right, player just, standing. Glushai does take Viper, but Chamber does take Ognan and the meanwhile trying to go for uh, oh. Clutch, but could not do it. And Sagu just 
failing to get the picks that they want. Loyal with the Bulldog just shooting down the long end. Now that he just was unable to do anything with the pistols that they had in hand. But Jericho this round gonna have a Phantom. You know he loves to WQ with that gun. We were literally talking about that before the game. It should be a fun one, but Sagu just needing to land shots here. They're able to get on the point. They're able to push. They're able to make the plays that they want to make. It's just you gotta get the picks now. You gotta you gotta get the shots and line it up and get those takedowns that you need to see. Some famous uh, agents on ice box are Sage, Viper, and Kale without a doubt. Chamber is definitely a situational pick on defense, especially teleporting from mid to B or B to mid or A to mid. But we're gonna go in this third round right here as Jericho. Turn down the game just a yep. little bit. Yep. We're gonna Jericho right now holding this flame. Trying to trying to maybe get a cheeky cheeky flank as Lola might go over. Again, we cannot see this. Kale not going out on A, does not scan anyone as Sagu is holding a slow push right now. No one's making a move at the moment. I could just waiting to be patient as much as possible and see if he will overcommit first. And there's the first one. Ogden finds one on bubbles. And he takes a little bit of help from that, but now Sagu has an opportunity to push in, but instead they choose to wait. Wait it out. Ogden's going to get the heal. There he goes. <laughs> and now they're just waiting for one more pick mm -hmm. as Rain time slowly dinners up. Reyna pushing up a little bit. Clutch right does kill Chamber. That is two kills for Sagu Esports. They got to push up maybe just a little bit, but they are catching out. Low it, lo, lo, dang it. <laughs> Loyola. 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 Loy. Loy. O. O. La. La. Loyola. Loyola. There you go. I'm so sorry. It's been a very long day today. <laughs> 30 seconds left. I've had tests like crazy today, so it's launching been, smoke. My mind is big Big ball goes up again. As they're planting B. Bipolar does put down a smoke to black that entry. Ogden is going to be flanking from the side. He's going to pull out his vandal. Again, a third round pick, really common by Sagu as they say the first two rounds for these guns. Looks like they're going to be pitching a little bit above. Yeah. Sagu is on the for these last two as oh. one one enemy remaining. Ooh, he finds one, gets the three piece, he's sitting on low health, but he knows what the last one is. Ducks wow. away from the flash and he's just sitting here patiently. Oh, oh, there's ooh, the white. Right. 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 And ah. Jericho finishes the kill off and Sagu will take their first round win of the night. 2-1 right now, what a great peak and what they great picks off that Sagu has made. We can do this. Yeah, a little bit down. There we go. Okay. There we go. I knew if I alt tabbed out, it was going to go black. Timeout. So. Ooh, an early timeout right now timeout. for Loyla. Loyla. I should have I waited a little bit before I alt tabbed out, but yeah. you know, that's just how it is. It is. But I mean, that is interesting to call a timeout that early when Sagu has only taken one round. They might just be having um, team issues or something. Don't necessarily know. I know they were expected to be late. And so mm -hmm. they might just need to wait a minute, right regain, here. regroup, and mm -hmm. figure something out. But they just give Sagu time right also here. to talk about what they want to do and how they're going to go about fixing things and, you know, getting some of these round wins back that they can they can close this. It's only a one-point lead right now, but they can get a gain on yeah. this Loyola team. Loyola uh, definitely was pushing up a lot more than what they should be. Again, and when you're defending, you don't need to push up that much, you know. We mm -hmm. saw Reyna dying at the almost near, like, the, the, the bridge on, on, the, on the corner right here, mm -hmm. you know. So Reyna did get caught out and Chamber did peak, but Loyola does not need Oh, it's gonna be a tech timeout. That's what it's going to be. Gotcha. It is going to be a, a, a tech timeout. But um Yeah, like 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 we said, Zagu just picked them out just at the right time as we are going into this uh Curious. Game was bugging is what it what it seemed like. Looks like we will have to take a few minutes and figure out the technical difficulties. Wow. Um, and Early I mean, in the just, game. That just happens sometimes. They know this team was expected to mm -hmm. have to forfeit this first round. Yeah. Um, because of like stuff either not working or they just couldn't be here. Mm -hmm. But instead, they were able to make it here to map one, which yeah. you know is really nice to have. But now we have to sit and wait as make sure everything works. Yeah, you don't want it to be a lopsided fight. I understand yeah. that. Like. Keyboards, mouse, monitors, you want that all yeah. working. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't want to be lopsided anyway. So if we take the necessary time to get this done, then so be it. It is what mm -hmm. it is. Yes, I feel like we definitely are going to be having a pretty good game if everything goes perfectly fine. But right now, just the tech timeout is going mean, to be rough. And I don't think, it, I mean, the momentum might swing a little bit, but it's very early on. The year. I mean, we're about to start round four. There's not mm -hmm. much momentum to go off of. And it looks like it'll be a short tech timeout as we're going to get back into the game here in just a second. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I mean, that's just what happens sometimes. Yeah. You, you gotta, gotta respect the call and just keep moving on and make sure everything works. And mm -hmm. we'll get back into this round four. 
as Sagu is still on the attacking side, down by one, but still very early on, so anything can still happen. Exactly. Sagu going to be doing the same thing, a little bit slow push. Kale Knife going on early A right now. As you can see, it's really close. Chamber was almost hit by it. I don't think he was hit by it, though, as he's putting down his either teleport. I don't know if that's his teleporter or his trap. Maybe looking for a flank. Maybe a pick, but Sagu is right now really, really I'm quiet and not trying to push anything. Maybe getting a catch or two out of this. I think they're doing exactly what they did last round where you just bait out someone who wants to overcommit. Mm -hmm. And once you find one or two picks, you need to move in and capitalize on a point. Yeah. That's exactly how they're going to beat Loyola because I think Loyola might be the better ranked team on paper. But Sagu just, they've taken out these top tier teams time and time and time again. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of to keep doing what you're doing. You can see Ogden there have the, the the gamer camera as mm -hmm. you can barely see his eyes it's only his forehead water does get the avenge on ogden right now as he takes out sage in the middle chamber does take water but flesh does take chamber and trade for trade right now it's 3v3 great trades by sagu i mean that's definitely what they've been wanting to work on for a while now is able mm -hmm. to trade each other off um, without baiting mm -hmm. and that's exactly what it is and we're seeing an even matchup as jericho tries to push onto the site Right now, that Sage Wall is vital and key. As Wipeo does have the spike, but he does not want to plan it just yet. Smokes out going on the entryway on B from spawn. A Loyola ally is playing right now. Oh Ooh. my goodness. A little jump scare action. A little bit of jump scare. This is an absolute horror game. Snipping goes down for a Bipolar as he maybe want to get a one kills or two kills. Bipolar trying to play Ooh. backside here as Clutch gets taken down by Bubbles. And Bipolar needs a three piece here to save this round win. Viper ult is up right now. Did not see that I like. Ooh, Enemy did one kill. Shoots his molly out. Kills him. Hits the bomb. Bipolar finds one more. Trying to find something, but he's going to back off. He might set up for his ult to deny Spike. Open up the sky. The ult comes out. Wait, and Bipolar finds the third. Clutches out the round with an early ultimate. Only 10 health remaining. What an amazing no and time place ultimate that uh, Bipolar did have at that moment. Sagu ties up rounds 2-2 two to two right now. Again, this is anybody's game at the moment. It does not matter if you win the first two rounds or the first five rounds. Mm, definitely. It's just a matter of holding on to the eco that you've been given, um, not losing too many rounds in a row to where you can't buy anymore, and then someone's just sitting there with an operator for 16 rounds like we had last week. <laughs> yeah, really. Sometimes. <laughs> really. <laughs> we have three phantoms, one vandal, and Chamber is going to use his ultimate. Watch you out. To play. There we go. Viper ult coming out, Chamber ult coming out right now, and Chamber, and Kyo does get silence on A right now. Viper ult coming out a little bit early, a lot more earlier than I, I, I thought. Bipolar does get a wall bang right now on Reyna, trying to push up a little bit too early, but those two ults are still out right now. Both chamber ults are out right now. It looks like Viper has her ult on B, nowhere near A site right now. Jericho sets up his wall, and he has the spike, and he'll begin to plant it as the Sova drone comes out, tries to find something, anything to help out the Saigu team. He finds one in the back line. Jericho protecting the spike while the rest of Sagu has his A control and they have intel on where the opponents are it's just a matter of getting the picks now that they want mm -hmm. looks like clutch right now is going to go with the operator one suppress on sage right now can't use her any abilities right now which is a very key and crucial for the next couple plays Wado and Bipolar playing right next to each other as the sofa dart gets the scan on three they have intel Wado finds one he steps up finds two Ooh. Bipolar gets another one in his help and now there's only one remaining clutch takes out the KO as he takes out Bipolar and Sagu's gonna get a round win a lot uh, of things happen in that early game both uh chamber of Loyola's Loyola's sorry my bad <laughs> dude lo, lo, my my Loyola tongue. Loyola I sound, it. it sounds super Spanish I'm so yeah. sorry I'm yeah. Hispanic I should be saying this right now exactly see Loyola <laughs> Lo right there. Lo 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 I know it's right there. It definitely very interesting uh, uh, early round as Viper instantly popped her ult. Does not even waste a second from popping her ult on B. It didn't even look like it was near A. I don't know if that was a misclick or if that was just on purpose, but that definitely could have been used on that post plant site. KO knife going down mid this time. Loyal is starting to figure out this Sagu attack as they do this 2 2 1 offense that they've been running. But Sagu's just going to wait patiently and continue to move the way that they've been moving before. Jericho might use his wall here to push Wado onto this B site mm -hmm. as Bipolar and Clutch flank around the other side and Ogden goes on alert trying to find something. Sage wall will might be used right now to cover middle, which does which does mean that they cannot be using it on, uh, on their plant site right now. 
Wado is right now looking at kitchen, maybe throwing a knife in there. But Bubbles does kill Ognin on the right side of A. Oh, check your corners, corners. Kids. corners. Wado takes out one, and Sagu even is out four to four as Wado tries to find a reposition. Oil will move over to protect the spike, but Jericho gets taken out by Sang. My polar Ooh. as the smoke drops takes out one more. Bipolar's hitting his shots tonight. What a great reaction by Bipolar, ah, just inching at a moment. As great theory, Sage kills kill Wado near kitchen, what it looks like right now. As Bipolar in clutch are allowed to go back. Check the corners. corners. <laughs> right now, KO ultimate is happening. Right now, it's a 1v1 clutch try, and KO, KO does have his ultimate right now. Ooh. The thing comes out. Clutch, unable to find anything, and Sagu will drop down one more round. Loyola ties it up 3-3. Wow, what a main, uh, what a flick by Bipolar right there, just at the last second. Smoke comes down and he flicks on Viper, just like that. And that's just like pure instinct right there. Yeah, that's just how it be sometimes. Uh, as great as the flick of it was, it wasn't enough to close out the round. But you gotta imagine, he's still feeling pretty good going into these continued rounds. You gotta keep this motivation of this momentum going as much as possible, because momentum can swing at any moment. Yeah, exactly. And Sagu needs as much as they can get running into it. Um, as we're at the, the quarter, oh, wait, the way through the match. Oh my goodness. I cannot speak English tonight. <laughs> Bipolar right now having his ult up. They might be playing off that, but they also have a civil ult going up right now. This is a great after or po or post plant uh, defense right now. They don't even have to be near the bomb to protect the, the uh, plant. Theo does have his ult up, but Sage on the other team in, uh, let's see, Kayo and Rainer do have their ult up. No one's using their ult right now. It's just a matter of being patient, waiting for a right time to gain value out of those ultimates as Ognan uses his recon dart to find one. Jumps off the zip, and he's just trying to play position now as the Jericho orb will jump in. Drone comes out, just trying to find anything. He's checking all of his corners like we've been telling him to do. And he finds one, and Sagu's going to start to move in onto this A site. Jericho getting the wall out as Bipolar starts to get the plant down, and the shots will begin to ring out. That smoke is perfectly placed for that entryway, just so they cannot see anything. Bipolar does put another smoke down on the left side of entry as Heaven is still smoked off. Great stem beacons from Bipolar, as you see Wado is playing that. Just mm -hmm. jiggle peeking, waiting to find something. Unfortunately, it wasn't able to work out, but Loyal is going to play the retake as ultimates begin to come out. Ognan shuts down the Reyna. Ognan gets taken out by the Sage, though. Wado spray and pray, unable to find anything. There's only two Saga members left with the remaining. One gets flashed in the process. He finds Whoa. a flick, though, out of the flash. Clutch finding another, Bipolar finding one. Two more remain. Bipolar finding a third. Clutch getting taken out. The bomb. Slowly tries to tick down. Bipolar stepping back over, trying to help out. He gets taken out, but it doesn't matter. The spike goes off. The what's his name? Chamber gets taken out, and Sagu <laughs> gets another round win. A full wipe reset for both teams right now. What an amazing play by Sagu. Even though Ultimates did come out from KO, Reyna, and Sage, they still got the the uh, spike to be planted. They took the time. They basically played all the time. No ults have been used, and all their ults have been completely left up right now. So this means this might be a win, next win round for Sagu. But and it was a huge early pick from Ognan on oh, the yeah. Reyna that shut down her ultimate. And Wado missing his spray and pray, but Bipolar just clutching up and finding his lucky head taps. Not even lucky. Those are all skillful. Those are at this all, point. all skill, all skill. We and don't, we don't believe in luck exactly. here. <laughs> he knows what he's doing tonight. He, oh, yeah. He's feeling really good. But that KO knife comes out and shuts three Sagu members down. Ogden right now is silenced for three more seconds along with KO and Chamber is silenced oh, yeah. by Wada on A right now. It looks like we will be seeing a battle for A side as KO knife Eddie. found enemies on both sides of the field. Yeah. And Ooh. it's gonna be a bloodbath. So it's a sheriff right now. Chamber old, or Chamber uh, teleport, my bad, not old, is down. Killed by Clutch Shire. KO flashed himself, finds one, finds two, two. but two Sagu members fall in the process. 3v2 right now is Jericho with the res. Bipolar does have his ultimate. They can play off of that right now. Wada does get the kill on Sage as soon as she peeks out of the smoke. Sagu just waiting to find these last two as the spike has now been planted. Mm. Smoke goes out on the entryway. It looks like she's going to be on flanking right now. Reyna is still unknown. And two Sagu members step over to help out with the flank as Wada holds down the fort in the back line. Viper Wada does go up, but Bipolar still has his ultimate. Can play off of that. Ooh. He finds one. Bipolar coming off right now. Bipolar might be sitting back just a little bit to play off of his ult, and we're gonna see about this. Wado getting taken out by Bubbles as Jericho tries to find something, but is unable to. Bipolar trying to find something. He sends out his ultimate, but it won't finish off the arena, but wow. his gun will. 
and Bipolar will finish off another round win for Sagu. Bipolar coming off these last couple rounds, absolutely clutching up, not only playing the time for the spike, but also getting his, his skillful, not lucky, headshots and flicks. <laughs> I think yeah. you need to change the tags to Bipolar and Clutch Die right now. It's the by Clutch right now. <laughs> the by he's going clutch. insane right now. Hold, clutching almost three rounds already for Sagu. Three or two rounds for Sagu already. Mm -hmm. Wow. Silva does have his ultimate up. Again, they can play They can play post spike from a very long distance. Definitely. And Sagu, I mean, they've just... They've taken the first couple rounds, they figured out how loyal they played, and now they're getting the picks that they want. The Viper ult will come out early. Already? My, I don't even know which side it'll be on, and Sagu's just going to wait in the back. They're just going to wait this out. They are... Jericho... Oh, Jericho did disconnect uh -oh. for a sec... For... It looks like for now. <laughs> um... I have a technical timeout once again, but we will... We will keep on playing this round because it's already started. Oh, we have two players gone right now. That's no bueno. That is very no bueno. Two players are gone right now. What it looks like is Jericho and... No, not Jericho. It looks like Bipolar and Wado right now are completely... Gone. Wado's cam is completely... Is, is As you can see in the very bottom think, of the left. Jericho does, Jericho does reconnect. I think Jericho... There we go. There he is. Wado gets taken out by an op. <laughs> that is so Ogden toxic. finding one on the Reyna. And I mean, I guess we're gonna continue to play out the rest of this round. We have to. In the rule book, if someone does disconnect in the middle of the round, they have to play it no matter what. I can try to find something, but get taken out by the left. opposing sage. Sagu only has 30 seconds remaining to push in. The Viper ult is here. Clutch gets taken out by um, Saint. And there's two Sagu members remaining. They step onto site, but there'll be a, a waiting operator there. Yeah. Taken out. Zagu drops a drops one round after after a confusing round, but that's that's just how it be sometimes. And it looks like Jericho got things set back up, and we're we're rocking and rolling again. It is what it is. <laughs> if we lose this by one round, <laughs> we now just have the confirmation of wait, are y'all good now? <laughs> after it's, after an operator does kill after Wada. the operator rings out from Wado, we just kind of fix things. That's just how it be sometimes. Yeah, it, so. it does not matter. If you does if you do disconnect when the round does start, you have to play that round out. You can pause after, but you cannot pause during the middle of a round. Gotcha. That's good to know, because I didn't know that. <laughs> Tiger, trying to push on this A site. KO Knife finds two awaiting on the A point, as Jericho is the first one to push in with his Christmas Phantom. The other KO is on B site. As you can see, the knife may be in kitchen, but maybe in mid. We're not entirely sure yet, but that KO knife on the other side. On this other side. Bipolar does get a wall bang on their chamber. Jericho with the sim beacon is able to step away. Bipolar gets taken out. He's just going to put a shield up, but Wado gets taken out in the process. KO Molly comes out, and Sagu's having to wait to pick up the spike again. Ogden stepping up, trying to find something. He finds one. He Ooh. finds two. Jericho finds a third. There's only one member remaining left on Loyola. Clutch Eye does have his ultimate up, which is basically just a free operator. Going on under hell, basically. What an interesting choice to say for the least part. They're going to be in the left side of A. Jericho with the jiggle peek, unable to find anything. Ogden steps over, but gets taken out as well. Clutch sitting in the back with his ultimate sitting out. Switches to his deagle instead. He's going to slowly start to push in and he's waiting for the Viper to make an appearance. She starts to peek up and down, but Clutch is going to take her out with a headshot. And Sagu's going to go up 6-4. to four. Does take five shots though to take that, but it was kind of just like a peek and boo type and deal right there. It's worth it. He was playing whack-a-mole there for a second. <laughs> That's what it looked like. It basically, it basically was. There's just a peek a from Viper and Clutch, but Clutch does clutch it up, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> right so. now, ultimate counts are Reyna and Chamber for this round, as well as Arsova, Ognin. Maybe going for a post plan, but we are going to see as we are going to go into this next round as 6-4 of Sagu. Charlie Mike, let's move. We're gonna see this maybe a slow push on B as you can see your Sagu lines you right now pulling up. Chamber does ult their chamber, not ours. Does ult for for a for a second, but we're going to find out. We're gonna find out. Jericho does kill one kill, but if Viper does kill Jericho, making a trade-off right now. Reyna is down. Sagu does push up on the left side. Maybe wanted to push Clan Spike. Viper does get silenced right now. She cannot use any of her abilities for the moment. As Chamber teleports are being set up right now. Smoke teleports on the entryways from their spawn side. Saint does kill one. Ognan. It is a 3v4 right now. Chamber still has his ultimate. And he's going to be probably going to be playing off of that. 
Theo Molly comes out as Watto tries to deny access onto the spike as Bipolar is just going to jiggle beat this corner. Viper Wall comes out, another Molly coming out and just trying to defend here. Watto finds one, he's going to back out, tries to reposition with Vandal. Spray and pray through the Viper Wall, unable to find anything. Phillies are going to get taken out. All three Saga members trying to find something, but Watto gets playing. Doesn't tell Clutch. Clutch is up, gets taken out. Ooh. All three Saga members get flanked and get taken out. A 3k from Har KO, not even using his ultimate of flank. A mis little, little miscommunication from there. From, from I think it was uh, a bipolar, as we're going right now into the last round. I think it was Watto. It was the Maybe one that Watto. miscommed or something, because he gets taken out. And the other two Saga members do not turn and try and trade him off. Mm -hmm. And in the process, all three will get taken down. And that's just really unfortunate to see. A very close game for both second and Loyola. Lo You're still struggling. It's okay. Dude, I forgive you. My brain is my brain is <laughs> off off <laughs> off the meds right now. <laughs> brain no hablo worko. Yeah, brain no hablo. Sometimes brain no hablo español. <laughs> and Saku begins just to push in mm. off the snipe, but the the what is it? The operator shot rings out. Jericho trying to heal himself, but he's unable to. Ogden gets taken down. Bipolar takes out one. Spike down Jericho a. left all here alone with his specter. Takes out the Rainalier, needs to reload, and said he's gonna switch off to by Polish Vandal. I have to spike. Gets Ooh, the spike. Bulldog no goes back to the Vandal right now. I think it was just a miss pickup. And Sage does need one more reloading. kill to to have a res right now. Kea does have his ultimate right now. Or she's just gonna go for orb. That makes completely sense. Huge. <laughs> Absolutely huge play by by Jericho right now. He's resing oh, Ogden at the moment. Ogden and KO do have both their ultimates, and KO has gonna have a knife going. Silencing and uh, their RKO silencing water at the moment. Ogden looking out for the flank as Jericho tries to move around. Finds one on the Viper. Trying to get a jiggle peek, but is unable to. Marshall. Marshall shot rings out. Zaku's gonna start to move. Zaku's gonna be rotating right now. Um Loyola might be leaving one person or two people at A just in case they fake rotate. 30 seconds left. And that is absolutely possible. You got 30 seconds left to so so make a move right now. Ogden what finds in the world have off. As the the Reina ult rings out, Jericho getting a heal over for Ogden with the knife, giving him protection. Let him know there's a Viper in the area, and he finds one. Two more loyal members remain, as four for Sagu are still standing. Silva so does have his ultimate, and can play off of that for him in long range, but decides not to. Ooh, Wado getting the Bulldog kill, and Sagu taking the, right now, seventh round win as they go into this next half. Good bait and switch from Wado and Jericho as they finish off the first half and looking at the scoreboard. Bipolar is 14 and 10, leading the Sago team. Clutch with 10 and 8. Ogden, 9 and 11. Wado, 7 and 9. And Jericho, 4 and 9. While over on Loyola's half, you have Berkey with 13 and 8. Har with 11 and 7. Saint, 11 and 10. Graf with 6 and 8. And Bubbles with 6 and 11. I mean, pretty even matchup so far all across the board. And you can tell who's doing what for each team. And it's been a many, pretty even matchup so far. It's been an even matchup. You can see Jericho right now not getting as much kills, but really focused. Focusing on the control and in trying to res his teammates, heal his teammates, and post that that spike right there, just to try and get some time on the clock, making making sure you can see Jericho is not like the the top fragger right now. He's not an initiator, oh. but no, but he's doing his job. A f oh my god! Five, wow! Phenomenal knife from huh, from Wado. From Wado, that's, that's who it is. That's Wado is getting all five members of Loyola. Loyola. And you gotta know bipolar is feeling really good tonight. Obviously, top fragging for this team. I think the first time all season, he's Maybe, just playing out yeah. of his mind right now. And I think he's gonna be feeling pretty good as we step in the playoffs here in about two weeks. Smoke did come down on. Oh. Wow, Jericho with a shoddy killing chamber out of nowhere. Wow. Yeah, the Jericho WQ Sage, you don't want to mess with her. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Calling Jericho her. That's funny. Uh, I mean, I meant more about the character, but yeah. Oh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, Wado throwing a knife, trying to get away, but gets taken out with a wall bank. Ogden oh, steps ooh. over, tries to help, but gets taken out. Clutch stepping up, finds nothing as well. Jericho on the flank as Bipolar steps over, trying to help out. You can see Jericho right now going into the entryway as Five Jericho planted. is going from the backside. Jericho Team finding one. one. Stepping out of the way. It's Jericho versus the world. Jericho has to get an ace here if he wants to take away, walk away with a round win. Trying to reposition after the KO knife. Oh, right below him. He completely missed that. And missing all the shots here. 
as it's a stage 1v1, but no, <laughs> the Viper will step over and finish off the yeah. round. Loyal is going to pull it back, 7-6. Uh, Loyal are doing a great yeah. job at not only double peeking, but triple peeking, making sure that no one dies on their team, as right now we can see Jericho buying a Bucky already in the second round of this match. Well, I'm telling you, he's so annoying on Icebox defense, because he's just going to sit that B site, and if you don't check your corners like you're supposed to, he's going to shoot you in the face with a shotgun. No matter what, Jericho is an absolute rat. <laughs> no, he's a menace to society, <laughs> I'm telling you. That's what this is right now. So we're going to see Jericho going on B. Being the sole survivor, Wado right now maybe holding mid by himself as three people are going to be on A. <laughs> Here's the, find, Wado finds three more and Jericho's just going to sit here and wait for them to round the corner. Watch this as Jer Jericho, <laughs> Jericho. Jericho knows we're Jericho, watching. Jericho knows, bro. He absolutely knows. He knows. <laughs> Jericho moving his screen telling him no. As Wado might be peeking right there, Reyna is on the left side. The Molly. Ooh. And Jericho, he's just going to take a shot before Wado gets taken out by Saint. And they don't see Jericho just sitting <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> Silly Jericho. What a clip that was. <laughs> what you got a clip it title, Silly Jericho. What a, what a what clip. What a clip that was. That was so funny. <laughs> Sagu has not been doing too hot in their pistol rounds this match. But Bipolar and Ogden, the last two remaining, while well, it's versus the rest of the Loyal Scott squad, excuse me. And I mean, they're just trying to make something happen as Loyal has potential to tie it up 7-7. Seven to seven. Making, trying to get a couple of cheeky kills right now. Smoke coming out right now. Interesting position here. And as I say that, Bipolar just falls to this H well. And Loyal will even us out at 7 7. You can see Chamber yeah, find the Bulldog the second round. Maybe not, I don't think has any shield at the moment, but right now Saku has a full buy. And Jericho finally buying a real gun, <laughs> buying a manly weapon, but he still might go play the same position. Who he knows? will go play the same position. It does not matter, as Wado right now has KO lineup for some reason on Icebox, Dude, and it's been working out. <laughs> hear me out. I want a 3D replica, like a 3D printed replica so, of, of, that K knife? of KO's knife. There I think that would be so cool to have. I, I want that. There's someone who did that. That's I'm pretty so sure. cool. I'm pretty sure. Knife was destroyed on B right now. Jericho needs to be careful. Jericho being really aggressive on the defensive half. Ooh. But he takes out one and he's going to dip down, and run away. Beat. Viper did have a spike right now as Sage Wall is going up. Capturing the orb right now. Jericho just needs to, as he needs Jericho's to run a right mad now. Lad, man. Jericho just built different, honestly. Mm -hmm. They're hitting the stage wall right now as Clutch may be holding that side. Jericho just waiting for someone Look to round off this. that corner. Unable to find one on the KO, he's going to back out as he's not threat. And Loyal is going to turn and peek and Jericho gets taken down. Clutch steps over trying to help out. Random shot rings out, unable to find anything. 4v4 right now. Clutch needs to play patiently and said he's going to teleport out of the way. Ogden finding one on the opposing chamber. Clutch finding one on the KO. He's going to bait and let Wado step up. Gets a flash off. The Wado gets taken down by the stage. Clutch steps up, but he gets taken out. Bipolar finding one. And it's just the, the enemy Reyna still Reyna standing. Reyna was definitely hurt by, by um, I'm pretty sure it was Clutch. And Ogden does take the bubbles down right now as two members of Sagu are left as they win this round, 8-7. Asher, I'm going to be dead honest with you. I heard Bubbles, and I just, my mind instantly thought Zarya. I was like, what is Zarya doing here? I, <laughs> I, I think she gives me PTSD, Bubble, bro. Bubbles but is, is, Zar is, is She Raina's got name. nerfed today. She did? Zarya got nerfed today. I'm very happy. But we're not, we're not talking about Overwatch tonight. We're talking about Valorant. We'll talk about Asagu that later. is now leading by one round, 8-7, to seven, here in round number 16. We'll talk about that during, during the games. <laughs> in between the games. In between games, we can talk about something else. But right now, we are talking about Valorant. Water right now, not having enough money for a Spectre apparently, Smoke's what it down. looks like, maybe buying utils, but I think Bipolar did buy him because he did have extra cash. Ditto knife. Oh no. Finding two. Clutch Here finding one on the opposed chamber ditto. As we hold our breath for this operator shot that like, coming through Jericho right now. It might is... be a marshal. That is not, that is not a marshal, that is an operator shot. I know an operator shot when I see one. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know operator bullet when I see one because I've been hit by many times with that. <laughs> All of Saigu just holding their angles right now, waiting for one member of Loyal here. to peek around the corner. Gun here. As there's three to five and and lives remaining, I guess you could say. Saigu doesn't need a push up right now. They have five members remaining as Loyola has three members. They don't need a push up, they don't need to do anything. Maybe getting a little bit of intel. But as you can see, Jericho is playing super Jericho. Oh. Like I said, once again, Jericho did How did not they need afford a peek. To up? This is that's very interesting. Rainer there comes out, clutch decides to back off. 
steps back up, but he gets Ooh. taken out by the opposing Sage. Ogden steps over, takes one out, Simbeacon comes out as Ogden falls to the Operator shot. Two loyal members remain, two Sagu members remain as well. I'm just saying random left. words. Molly. Two Mollies come out, trying to find something. Watto steps out, can't find anything. Like I said, like they're in kitchen. Sagu does not need to be pushing right now on defense. There's no need for that Welcome at the moment. Oh. Viperol going out right now for a little bit of a post playable action. Maybe trying to get defense Spike on right now. Sage already has used his wall. It's going to be hard for Wado and Bipolar to retake this. It's going to be a W key in the Viperol more than mm -hmm. likely. I can hit diamond. Maybe. Of course. Ooh, Bipolar finds one. One more left as they are going to swing on the right side. Maybe, maybe Wada going in. But Bipolar does go in face first with this. Checking the corners, checking her corners. Can't find anything on this Viper as time slowly starts to tick down on the spike. Ooh. But Bipolar knows where the Viper's playing. He just knows. He's done this a time or two. Takes up the Viper and Zagu's going to walk away with a round win. Big brain plays from Bipolar. Absolutely big brain plays. Maybe saw, I, I did see a part of a leg. Viper ult was uh, a little bit of a misplace right there. But then again, that is a TikTok Viper ult if you guys do not know that. <laughs> Absolutely TikTok Viper ult. I did not see her leg at all, so I, I just thought it was a I saw, great I, saw, I, I think I saw like a foot, maybe, or like a kneecap. Other than that, that Viper ult was perfectly placed. Just a little bit off-center, because I know, uh, I'm trying to think on, I did see the TikTok about this. I don't know where the Viper ult, you need to set up the Viper ult. Mm -hmm. I did see a TikTok about it. I'm going to look that up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to just search all of TikTok. All of TikTok, all of Valorant. Oh. Uh, be sometimes Ogden finding intel on A as Jericho sets up a wall and Bipolar will play B long for the first time all game. Sagu mixing up their defense and putting people in new positions, keeping Loyola on their toes. Bipolar maybe a little bit slow peeking right now. Doesn't want to push anything, doesn't want to have any wide angle. Oh, but he saw an elbow running away back in the mid. Chamber does not, as, as you can see, Chamber is. Ooh, Ogden getting one kill off of KO on the Bulldog. It looks like Brimstone does hear or see people, what it looks like, as he's going to be maybe peeking out just a little bit as Water is being supportive with him. Water's that supportive friend that you have that. That just cheers you on as you do everything. Rainer right now is on a, uh, a side, not sight yet. As the wall does go down for Sage earlier on. Hogan just trying to shock Daughter out. But Clutch finds one on the chamber ditto in mid. Sova drone comes out as Hogan trying to find something. Jericho steps over to defend him. He finds two sitting on top of the, um, I think that's Catwalk. I think it is Catwalk. As the Viper does have a sheriff right now. Hogan gets a headshot with the Bulldog aiming down the sides of Viper going up on A site. Maybe not the best decision, but Bipolar is... I'm not going to stop Hogan as he finds another. Wado gets taken down in the back line. Viper steps over, takes down Ogden. Jericho stepping over, trying to help out, and he finds the last one. Sagu's going to hit double digits, 10-7. to 7. What a great job by Sagu, not pushing anything, trying to get their picks as we can, as we saw that, that uh, uh, right now, David going off with the Bulldog apparently, getting three kills, if I'm correct, three kills that last round. I think so. Bulldog right. just hit different sometimes. Absolutely. Old count right now for us, we have our Sage and Ogden, uh, Silva old right now. For Loyola, it's Sage, KO, and Reyna at the moment. You gotta imagine Sagu having momentum in their favor now, shutting down Loyal with their defense, and Sagu's feeling pretty good as Jericho is gonna throw up a wall and tube or hallway or tunnel or whatever you want to call it. As a huge KO knife comes out once again. Four people as David Silva coming out right now with his Hanzo ult essentially. Otto getting the head peek and getting a kill on Chamber K knife KO. Is not hitting anybody. Ogden gets taken out. And Loyal is going to full push A here as Wado tries to back off and play his life a little bit longer. Two Sagu members will step over trying to help him out. Wado gets one on the KO, gets taken Ooh. out in the process. Whoa, why did we switch the clutch all the way off of Narnia? Bipolar finding one. Oh, oh, Bipolar finding another. Sending out his Molly, trying to shut down. Jericho gets taken down by the Reyna. She's going to invis out. Now KO is, KO does fall to Wado right now, clutch, or not clutch, sorry, Bipolar does have his ultimate right now as Chamber is flanking, Reyna is the last person alive. Zagu just gonna pinch and squeeze like they usually do, trying to bait this Reyna out and get her to move around as clutch, tries to peek across long, but is unable to see her, shots ring out from the Reyna as there's now intel on where she is, Bipolar trying to reposition, time slowly dwindles down, doesn't know that clutch is on the prowl, and it hits her. 
and Sagu is going to get another round win. 11-7 right now. Again, that just gave Clutch his ultimate. He might be using it maybe this round or next round, but man. You gotta imagine Sagu is feeling very good right now. Very beautiful head taps that Wado had right there. Same with Ognan, same with all of them right now. Mm -hmm. And Sagu is just playing pristine Valorant tonight. Hey, right now, reaction time for Sagu is right now on point at the moment. <laughs> So for reaction time, I knew that our first couple games, we had a little bit of a slow reaction time against the other teams that we've played. Half a second is definitely all it takes, especially with Vandals and Phantoms when it's only a one-shot kill. Whatever they get at the beginning of the season, it was simply a warrant for them. They're just trying to knock off the rest that the summer brought and figure out how to play against some of these teams. And we've played against some very good teams this semester. And Sagar has definitely improved as Clutch pulls his ultimate out. And Jericho finding intel in mid. Puts up his wall. Right now, Loyola, for the first time, is making a slow push. Not a very aggressive push like they've been using. Okay, now does go out on B. Ooh, two people right now by Poe might be putting a smoke out right now. Molly is going to go out. Maybe a little bit short right there. Smoke will going out. Viper is being peaked and does kill Jericho at the last second. Buffalo steps over to help out, but Bubbles will take him out. Clutch has rotated around with his makeshift operator, but the Viper wall will be in his way. Makeshift Viper operator, planted. that's funny. <laughs> it's a better operator, it really is. And Ooh. he takes out the Reyna as she pops her ult. Sage abilities are down at the moment as KO does have his ultimate. Vandal is being picked up by Clutch Shire. He still has his chamber ultimate. Ogden using most of his util. Oh. Sage is going to step out and peek him. Clutch gets to take him out. Watto gets taken out in the process. Clutch has the 1v2 right now. He's unable to take out the chamber ditto. And Loyal will get another round win. Making it one step closer, but it's still 11 to 8. 11 8 right now. Sago just needs to win a couple more rounds. You just need to finish this game out on Icebacks. Uh, Icebacks. 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 Yeah. Yes, sir. Icebox. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Man, my words are. I am. I'm getting tongue tied tonight. I gotta I'm drink a lot of water. I, same, dude. I gotta start doing like my my voice exercise, my voice warm before I start casting again, because I just keep stumbling over my words. Peter Potter picked the pack of pickle. That's some tongue twisters. <laughs> That's uh, rapping. No, dude, just listen to Eminem and try and rap, um, rap God or something. I've been feeling like a rap God. <laughs> Jericho right now having his ult up, but no one or, or bipolar is going to maybe support him as he puts the wall up. Jericho playing his ratty corners as Loyal gets his slow push off again. KO Knife comes out. Jericho having to reposition. <laughs> Jericho's back. Stuff over Jericho set. is backing up after this. After seeing that, okay. now it's not happening. Jericho decided it's not worth it. Trying to get a few things off, but unable to land anything. Smokes come out, and Zagru's going to reposition here on this B side. Clutchire right now holding that tunnel area in the middle. Wado might be flanking from the back side. We're not entirely sure yet. We We'll get back to you on that for a couple seconds. <laughs> as Wado and Ogden push through A, they might hear some steps as they start to swing around. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a slow push right now. Wado steps over. Clutch falls in the process. Dagu's going to start to capitalize on a few things. Four on four now. Ogden in the back line. Finds one on the chamber. Can't find another. Wado steps over and gets a straight, but also gets straighted off in the process. It's just Jericho and Bipolar. And a 2v2 against... Oh, Bipolar finds one. 2v2 right now. Sage does have... Uh, Jericho does have his ultimate right now. Kills one. Spike is down right now. Chamber is the last one left. Ooh, uh, just trying to get out of the way. He's going to reposition with his phantom. Bipolar is going to step up and take his place. No, no, no. Oh, he's he's going to be running out of time right now. Cannot plant the time. And this will be another round win for Sagu as Loyola. All right. Jericho, that uh, was useless. No, but... no, no. He gets to keep his weapon now. He doesn't have to buy that. Oh, that's so true. It really oh. helps his econ going into this match point for Saget. Yeah, that's true. I completely forgot about that. Yep. I have, sometimes. I absolutely forgot I, about that. I played a good amount of Sage. I think I know. I think I know a thing or two pocket sometimes. Sage, pocket Sage. Pocket Sage. No. It's just sometimes. Pocket Mercy. Pocket Sage. It's all Please, the same thing. No. <laughs> no. No. Sagu just... on match point now in match number one on Icebox as Loyola has to fight to tear and tear essentially to get their way back into this match. Sagu one round away from getting this game won. As you can see, almost a full buy from everyone. You want to play? Let's play. Team roll coming out on the enemy team. Sage, or it does get suppressed by the knife KO on A. Jericho 
being aggressive as ever with the Phantom. Just trying to get as close as possible and get a few shots to ring out. Steps over, gets a head tap, but gets taken out in the process. Bipolar trying to find something, but the two other Sagu members fall in the process, and it's clutch and Bipolar against the world, essentially. And that, kids, is why you don't buy a Phantom. <laughs> no, you buy a Phantom, but you don't shoot it from that long of a range. That was, it would have been a one tap if it was a vandal. I definitely think it was a one tap if it was a vandal. It, you know, if it was a vandal, it was a one tap because he definitely hit his head. Oh, yeah. You heard the he head dink and everything. But now Bipolar has to get an ace to get out of this round. He finds one. Can Bipolar clutch up this round as Thimbican goes down right now, checking all his corners, what it looks like right now. He has his ultimate. He can make something happen if he really wants to. He definitely does have his ultimate. Starts to push in just a little bit further. Being quiet, waiting. He found Intel. Gets the smoke out instead of using his ultimate. Go step over. And he sees two. Oh. Unable to get his weapon out in time. And Bubbles will take him out. And Loyal gets a round nine victory. And Zagu's still on that point. 12 9. My knees are going to kill after this. Maybe a little bit of an econ rating at, the, at, at this moment as it was two full buys for Zagu. Grimstone still has his ultimate up, maybe for a post site. Or maybe just a just a control area right there. Definitely. But Sagu needs to figure out what they're going to do for this last round. Someone get this. They just need one more to close it out as Jericho wants a judge and he is going to get it. <laughs> you already know what's about to happen, ladies and gentlemen. You Jericho Ace right here with the judge. I called it now. You, you absolutely already know. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Run, Jericho. No. Jericho trying to set up a wall, trying to set up right now, but could not. Does that count as Caster's Curse? It might have. I don't know. Bipolar having to use util to stay alive and stall Loyal out while he tries to defend his B site alone. Wado and Agnes stepping over to help. Bipolar going out knife. We're a little bit shorter than I think what Wado expected. Bubbles does kill Agnes, but Bipolar does kill Chamber. What an amazing play. Bubbles gets taken out. Same with Wado. Clutch is the last person alive going from injury. With a classic. Oh. Should be fun. Spike planted. Should be, should be interesting. Let's see if Clutch can actually clutch this up. Clutch needs to load to the main right now, bringing out two shots but unable to close out on the arena. Loyal will now hit double digits and it's a 12 to 10 game. It's not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. My smokes can block the enemy's line of sight. They're blind. This may be a save round for Sagu. We're gonna see frenzy. No, go back to the shotty. Jericho playing the shotty. Go to the shotty. Go to the shotty. Go to the shotty. Right go to the shotty. Now, oh, you get. Go to the shotty, go to the shotty, go to the shotty. No, don't do it, Jericho. Do the shotty. No, do it, you won't. you won't. Jericho, just stay with what you got. Be man. a man. No, Jericho. Play your cheese stats, that's what you're good at. Be a man. But Sagu has no eco right now, is their issue. And this they're just trying to make something happen. This is going to be a save round. As you can see, uh, Loyola, lo Loyola. You're still lo struggling with that, man. Loyola, Loyola, Loyola. <laughs> Lo-oyla, maybe. Okay, so, coming out right now, getting one kill on Augment. Getting, ooh, Wado getting two kills back to back as KO is down but not out. He can still be revived in his ultimate. Viper ult is coming out, but Viper does kill Wado on the left side. Trap comes out as Jericho has a frenzy. What it looks like, Saint does revive KO and Chamber does kill Bipolar. 2v4 right now, 1v4 right now, Viper ult is still out. That frenzy might be rough. Jericho just trying to sit in the back, wait for someone to come around. He finds one. <laughs> Jericho, okay. Frenzy play. It works every time, man. Tries to throw a slow orb out. He sets up a wall, but he falls on the wrong side, unable to get the weapon pickup that he wanted. And now Jericho thinking about retreating, but no, he's gonna stand his ground. He's gonna step back up and try and get a few more picks off with his frenzy. Wait, the slow peek here. Jericho, gonna jiggle around. Waiting to see the opposing Reyna. Oh, waiting for him. One. Got one. There's another one back in there. Jericho <laughs> sees all three. It's a firing squad lined up at him. He He's just slowly going to back off uh, the Viper. Fast peaks. And Loyal is going to pull it back 11 to 12 as we're one point away. Oh, oh we're trying, on the spike. trying to get maybe one cheeky kill at the last second, but could not. As Sagu does have buying power right now. Vandals and Phantoms going across the board. This may... May potentially be the last round as Segu let Loyla uh, come back into this game. Well, Segu definitely ran out of eco. Loyla got oh, yeah. a few more match wins, and so Segu said, "All right, we need to save for a few rounds, and we have to win this one." And I think that's what's going on through their minds right now: is they have to win this round, otherwise we're going to be in for the long haul. Mm. Ko not coming out on B, getting three people: Sage, Ko, and Chamber. They cannot use the ultimate, or they cannot use their abilities for at least ten seconds. And counting down, Sage while going up on B. 
a very interesting stage wall by Jericho as they are uh, shooting at B right now. One, one, uh, one stack is being closed as they Sagu is rotating. Smoke's down. Sagu starts moving around as Watto and Jericho holding down this B site until everyone else gets here. Bipolar stepping up as Viper Wall comes up, cuts off line of sight. Now Sagu's going to slightly reposition here as Jericho steps up. Trying Rain to find old. something. Here's the rain old come out as more Sagu members begin to scramble, trying to rotate back around to A to to protect the the rotation. And Ko Knife comes out. And it looks like it will be an A push. My puller gets taken out. And Sagu's gonna have to play retake now. Stem going out right now. Oh, knife killing uh, Reina and Chamber not being able to use their abilities at the moment. Flash might be coming out right now. A short flash. Clutch does get one first. Ooh. Auto finds another, but gets taken out in the process. Clutch falls as well. Jericho is trying to move around. Ogden trying to take another one. It's a two on two. His ultimate comes out. Jericho is stepping over, trying to help him. Unable to find anything from Ogden. Jericho swinging around. He finds one. Jericho just waiting on the last one. Ogden falls in the process. Maybe. Come out. Oh. oh, but Jericho did not know where the chamber was. Got lost in the sauce. And it looks like we will be seeing overtime here in match number one. Miscommunication by right now overtime. David, not knowing where he was killed by. Jericho thought he was going to be under, but it was right behind him all along. And somehow Jericho went on the flank and still missed the chamber. I don't know how that. Oh, he had a teleporter. That's right. He, did, uh, he had a teleporter that Jericho did not want to destroy because then it would give away his position. But he killed the KO instead, and Chamber knew where Jericho was at the moment. Now, I believe it is a win by two. You have it to win is. one offense, one defense, as Sagu steps back up to the plate on the attacking side, and they have to make something here right now. Fun fact, it's actually called a deuce. A deuce, really? It's like you have to win by two. A deuce. Mm. I just say win by two. <laughs> That's just how it is. It is a deuce. It is a deuce in volleyball and in tennis. <laughs> huh. Okay, a knife coming out on B. Right now, suppress Sage cannot use Jericho's wall at the moment. Jericho's not scared though, as he still steps up, waiting to find something with the Phantom. When as Sagu's gonna wait. When is Jericho scared? Oh, never. Man's not scared of anything. I don't know if that's a glitch or not, but that Viper right now having her ultimate, what it looks like. I think that is a glitch. There's no way that she has. That I thought out. she just used it. Right? Yeah, there's no way. As Sophie Dark comes out, like, wait, waiting to find find some intel. Unable to get anything. Sag is just gonna wait. Try and find one pick. Jericho starts to back off the B site. Oila right now. Playing it safe. A little recon going out on that scan. Recon was destroyed. But where is the question? Ogden has no idea. Knife KO going out, zip line. David's gonna be using Sagu's it. Sag is gonna push in onto this A site now. They're fully committed. He has to get something. Knife unable to get taken down by Ogden. Sagu trying to get on the point. Takes out that trap instead. Dagu needs to plant, waiting for Loyal to make something happen. Jericho with the spike. 30 seconds remaining as he begins to plant, and all the youth still begins to ring out now as Loyal will now have to play retake as Sagu has control. Viperwall going up as the Leer coming out right now. Clutch does kill Chamber right now. Viperwall does go up at the moment, trying to get line of sight blocked for Sagu. Ogden taking a step higher, finds Ooh. one on Saint. That's reposition now. Clutch gets taken out, so does Ogden. Bipolar finding one on bubbles. Jericho stepping around trying to help out. Bipolar finding another one. Watto getting the last one and Sagu gets around win and now they just need one more to finish off map one but you have to play defense. One more round. Sagu does take this first game and this is going to be very interesting as we are going into defense. Viper... Nope. I was about to say Viper ult is up right now. It is not up. That is just a glitch in our system. Taking a look at the score lines, and you guys see these players are going absolutely insane right now. All of them in the double-digit kills, and everybody's just playing phenomenally right now. But only one team will walk away 1-0 after this first map. Mm -hmm. You can see right now, Saku is setting up 2-2-1. Ognit is by himself, putting a little bit of recon bolt coming out. No one on A at the moment, and no knife from KO. Saku has no intel on where Loyola is. Oh, yeah. Wado's gonna step over to help out Ogden as Bipolar and Jericho holding on the B side. Clutch staying in middle, and everybody's ooh. just waiting patiently to find something. Raina Lear right now is. Ooh, there, there they are right now. Raina Lear is going on to that B long as smoke's coming up from Bipolar. Sage Wall does come up, maybe buying a little bit of a time from that, uh, from that plant. Bipolar just trying to dig a peek out, find something. Clutch falls ooh. in main. 
throne coming out right now in middle as you can see ko knife does come out bipolar unable to find anything as they start to rotate out ogden finding one trying to find one more on the viper but gets taken down in the process jericho stepping up trying to get this trade wado finds one on the closing ko Jericho peeking mid right now, very risky as they don't need to peek as much. They are defending, remind you that they might be rotating over to A. Viper Wall is up right now, so they might be having a hard push on A. Stimping does go down from that. Hey, oh. <laughs> Knife gets taken out by Jericho, but the crazy flicks. No one's going to shoot the Leer out. That, Jericho's going to reposition. That was our knife. <laughs> oh, that was? That was our knife. Their KO's dead. Oh, insane, insane reaction time from Jericho, <laughs> as Spike has now been planted in Sagger's tent for get retake. Jericho checking underneath, not They've finding anything. They've been playing anything. long, that's what it is. Bipolar stepping up, trying to find something as Jericho starts to defuse. Mm. Bipolar gets taken down, Wado falls as well. Jericho has to 1v3 here. Keep your gun out, don't pull out your knife. Disable that button. Jericho finding one, as now the Viper ult rings out. Jericho stepping in to the smoke, trying to find something, but they'll get the revive on Reyna, and uh, Jericho will fall on the process, tying it back up to 13s. 13-13, the Legere's winning by two right now. What, like, it, it, it's, it's rough because on defense, you don't need a peek. You can play time, you don't have to, you, you have to defend, you, you don't have to get kills immediately on attacking yeah you do but <laughs> unfortunately bipolar and water just unable to land their shots there at the mm -hmm. end leaving jericho all by his lonesome you gotta land those picks right there when it matters the most and now you're gonna get another attacking win still over time this can go all along until 21 if we really want to but we have to have a first game one this cannot go into a tie i don't think you can go to a tie at all i think you have to play it all the way uh, you out can, i think you can uh, who would want to do that? Valorant has a, has a very... Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness! What is going on? <laughs> Bubbles, Excuse me! Three up. people down for Loyola as an absolute massacre from second Loyola. 3v2 right now. Wow! That was a massacre on <laughs> the opening the base side. I was not even expecting that. Smoke's going down on not only heaven, Molly's coming out. Operator is coming out right now. Dang. Spike is planted. KO is in really low health. Stem breaking going out. Taku just repositioning, trying to get away from this operator, trying to trade each other off right now. No one wants to fall as all three are grouped up. It's a, it's a three on two now. Wada trying to get a little hot flash out. Throw something, but will not peek afterwards. And Viper's going to come around the corner. Clutch gets taken out as well. It's all bipolar now. He has his ultimate. He tries to use it. Unable to find anyone. Oh, he finds one. 1v1 right now. This can go into bipolar's hands. They did not get half. I pull it. Sees the chamber, but misses no! it. And they will get the defuse off, as Bipolar was not quick enough and still died in the process. And now Loyal is on match point. I think Viper did get the half just before she died. I think so too. That's why she stuck it for so long. She had the armor and the ability to do so. And sadly, it just was not enough for Sagu. Mm -hmm. 13 now, 14 right now. You have to win this defensive. After losing yeah. multiple defensive rounds, you have to hold on this one and need to make something happen. Otherwise, uh, Boyle will walk away with a map one victory. Sagu cannot right now risk anything. Everything is on the line. As teleports are setting up between A and mid from, cha from our chamber, as you can see Jericho holding out B by himself. Oh, a great Sova Dark getting positioning on the, the Viper and the Sage as Clutch will sit in mid. Just waiting for someone to round the corner. Bipolar will step over to help him out. Not David. Jericho left all by his lonesome on the B site as Loyal just waits to make their attack. Yeah, yeah, in bats, in bats. coming out on B long and Reyna Lear, a little bit of util coming out on B. Making Smoke. sure Jericho's not camping his rat corners again. <laughs> Smoke coming out, Viper Wall coming out, lock, blocking the line of sight like we've seen all game long. And it will be a B push to Jericho. Steps over, tries to get something, but he will Whoa. run out of ammo, unable to find anything. Tries to shoot his pistol, but it will not be enough. KO He's going to back off. KO is hurt, but Sage does have her heal, so that won't really matter. Kid. Knife coming out right now, just suppressing Reyna. Recon coming out, seeing Reyna again. Jericho putting Ooh. up a wall of his own. Ogden get one pick. Wado finding another with his molly. Trying to get the fuse off. Bipolar finding two more. Viper's the last person remaining, and they do get this defensive win off right now. Sagu. Okay. Huge play Relax right here. So. <laughs>
It doesn't matter. It all doesn't matter right here. You're gonna get your eco back. Lock. No, we're tied up at 14. Y'all, relax, bro. We just just chill out. <laughs> Lemon does get triple cut at the very end, but it doesn't really matter. It was a massive defensive win from Sagu right here, as now they have to win yet another attacking round, as we're still in overtime. 14-14, again, win by two, a deuce. Utils are up for both teams, full buys again, like we said. This is going to be very long. We are missing Dorm Divas. Uh, we're missing Dorm Divas. This first match has already been nearly an hour long. We are missing Dorm Divas. There's no way. I, I refuse to believe. Now, Sagu just trying to find something. Jericho will be the first to peek with Ogden following behind him. Yeah, two people B right now as KO did. Wada, Wada found them out at the last second. They are mid, so they have to watch out for the flying zip line. is going to be used what looks like to be Jericho. And all Sagu will start to use Util as they push onto site. Ogden trying to find something, but is unable to. Jericho's going to get the spike planted, and now Loyola has to play retake. Ooh. Couple shot guards coming out right now. Clutch finds one in the opposing back line. Zagu just waiting to find something. Ko now comes out. Clutch finds the one flake. The one, one flake. <laughs> the one tap. I that called the one flaker. Wado finding one, but in the process, bipolar falls. Jericho oh. doesn't know where Saint is. Wado finding another. Wado finding a third. There's only one remaining left for Loyola. The opposing viper takes out Wado. One v one right now. Jericho or, or David has to play for time Ogden right now. Ooh. Finds one. And Ogden will close out this round. 15 to 14. Sagu's up by one. They now have to get a defensive win. Ogden coming in clutch at the last second. That Viper ult was going to be absolutely brutal. And that Viper ult was fully off. Playing in a Viper ult is not something that you want to do, especially in overtime. I think she was just trying to get it off last second. Get by her a little bit more time since she didn't know where Ogden was. And in the process, he takes her out. And now Sagu on match point on the defending side. Hey, if you have it, you have it. <laughs> I mean, that's just how it is sometimes. It doesn't matter because it, it doesn't matter because your old don't carry over to the next round. So. <laughs> yep, a doobie, what a doobie. Ogden trying to get a dart out as Raina Lear comes out on B-Long. Sagu's just going to position. Knife was destroyed and Knife goes out on B-Long. Brimmy, at the last second, a little bit of a running gun from that Phantom that chamber is a 4v5 right now. Wall going up, up again, blocking side. We've seen this all day long. Night long, sorry, orb coming out right now. <laughs> Jericho pulling out. Lear coming out. He's being destroyed. That was the last Lear. Loyal will now get planted. Jericho trying to take down wall. We'll run out of ammo in the process. Wado stepping over to the final one. Ogden Ooh. finds two. Ogden getting a double kill. Really, really packing it. Teo Molly comes out. Jericho falls in the process. Wado stepping up, trying to help out. Unable to find anything. Clutch finding one. It's a Wado and a 1v2 with only three shots Ooh. up that gets taken out. And Loyal will tie us up 15 to 15. We're just 15, going back and forth right 15, now. 15 15. This is a back and forth. Absolutely. This is a back and forth game. You're absolutely right. I feel like I'm watching a boxing match as the two people go blow for blow right now. <laughs> hitting each other with a right hook, yet they're still standing. It's like a basketball. It's like a basketball match. One person hits a three, the other person hits a three. One person hits a dunk, the other person gets a dunk, you know? Exactly. That's just how it is. They're going blow for blow right now as Sagu needs to get another attacking win. Right here. Sagu cannot fall behind right now. Looks like they may be going D a good a first time in a good while, to be honest. As Jericho is gonna be holding mid. You can see. Sagu really good at pushing the A site while Loyola better at pushing the B site. And now Sagu's gonna pull the mix up on them as Ogden puts out a dart trying to bro, throw them off. Bro, I, and Sagu's just gonna I wait to push the first this B time and I was like, boys. Jericho holding this like basically, I think it's B yellow. You know, you know correct. Holding now, that, holding that him. middle site. A little bit side peeking over and over again. Maybe the wall will come out Ooh. and help push Wado onto the site. Sagu starts to capitalize it. Oh. Jericho falls, Wado falls as well. Clutch trying to blind fire but gets taken out by Saint. Bipolar stepping back to help. Ogden finds one, Ogden finds two. He's getting gunned down but he will step out of the way and stay alive. Bipolar trying to find something. 2v3 right now, Sova is about to have health right now. Sage, Kale, and Reyna versus Sova and Brimstone. A little bit of a recon. There they are. He finds two. Ogden waiting to peek. He peeks out and he finds his third of the round. Yeah, now does suppress them at the moment, but maybe not for long. 2v2, time is taken down. One player left. Rimstone is the last person remaining. Ogden gets taken down. I pull it. He finds something. Ooh. He takes out the save. Tries to get his molly, but it will not maybe? be enough. No. No. We got it. Wait. Oh, oh 
with 0.39 left oil will walk away with a round win going up 16-15 and on to match point Sago needing a defense just a lucky 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 defuse at the last second less than the second let's be real here <laughs> that's just how it is my heart dropped i was about to say i was like oh it's just it's hurtful as we're nearing, I think, a full game and a half already. We, and this is the two a, teams this are still going blow for blow. This is a full game and a half. <laughs> That's how it be sometimes. We're Gotta at, love overtime. We're at 31 rounds. <laughs> Sheesh, man. 32. <laughs> we're at 31 we're, rounds we're right now. This is two 32. games <laughs> in one. Knife going out on that little bit. Amen. Entry. Silva. Intel dart on B long. Smoke's coming out on that B entry. Knife coming out. Yeah, does I get. get it. Does not get anyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ogden stepping over, trying to find something, waiting for them to peek through the brimstone smoke. Yeah, but it looks like no one is home. And Ogden will still wait patiently. He backs off. Wado finds one on A side. Wado clutching up right now, killing that uh, uh, Sage right now. No more heals and no more uh, res. Reno here coming out right now. A little bit of a fire fight as Jericho and Wado now clutch trying to hold A side, preventing this plant. Wado waiting to find something. He knows where Clutch finds Ooh. one. Jericho gets taken out in the process. Wado waiting patiently for his turn to peek. Molly comes out from the Brimstone. Viper line coming Sagu up right now. starts to move in. Ogden on the backside. Unable to find one on the Viper. Bipolar tries to push in. Also falls to the Viper. Clutch stepping up. Wado falls in the process. Clutch having to make a clutch play now finds one. Viper might be up right now as Viper and Reyna are the last people alive. Clutch well, has to make a play happen right now. Needs a double kill to keep this map one still going. Looks like Loyola might be playing a little bit longer. They've been playing off the spike this whole game. This Clutch, Clutch slowly peeks it. around. He finds one. Waiting to get the pick. Clutch Double needs a defuse right now. Move oh. around, but Bubbles will take him out in the Attackers process, and Loyola will walk away with a very long game one. 17 to Men 15. Mentally tiring Sagu. They could not hold it out for that 32 rounds, at least longer than that. That was almost a game and a half. That uh, pretty much was a game and a half. Looking at the scoreboard, Saint leading the entire lobby with 35 and 22. And just, dude, insane numbers put up from everyone on both sides of the map. And, I mean, that will be <laughs> that will be our game one. <laughs> that was just game one, Saint. That was game, game one. Oh my goodness. One. As has literally Chamber <sighs> typed in chat, five minute breather, please. The match, that was the match was one hour, four minutes, and twenty three seconds long. Oh That's a map my one. What a what a map. How one you lead the night? Oh my goodness. What a what That's a how map, it is. What a map one that was. That was absolutely insane. A lot of picks from from bipolar. A lot of flicks. A lot of great teamwork. A little bit of miscommunication from both teams yep. trying to figure out, you know, where people are and, and trying to have that that uh, post plan and trying to retake a site, essentially, for both teams. But in the end, Loyola just came out, just went one defensive and one attack, and that was it. That was, that was, that was all it takes. That's just how it is sometimes in Sagu. Just, they had it, but they were not able to hold on long enough. I think yeah. that mental got slightly destroyed there towards the end. And oh, now yes. they just need to land their head taps. They need to get get a break, get a breather, get up, use the restroom, go get a drink of water, and then come yeah. back and ready to go, as I believe we'll be playing Ascent as our I map I think we are two. playing Ascent, and if we do, I think Fracture is going to be the third Ah, but but Ogden going in 27 and 8, Bipolar coming in clutch right now, 31 and 35. What what a game this was. What are your thoughts about this game? I think it was a really good game. I think Sagu could have been able to walk away with the win, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, they didn't. But they need to just regain here and go in the map too with their heads held high and continue to just play their best. Yeah. How it is. Well, anyway, since the players will be taking a break, here's, here at the casting table, wow, I'm saying a lot of words. We're we going to get up and use the restroom since I really need to use the restroom. Get some more water, and we will see you all here in a minute.
Who they cry for, once they know they're going to die. We haven't been talking this full time. Wow. Wow, that's awkward. That's so... That's how it be. Did we turn off the mic? You turned off the Did mic. Did I turn off the mic? Yeah, you turned off the mic. I don't remember. Yeah, I'm... you turned it off in between rounds. Great job, guys. I don't remember. I'm so tired. Dude, it, today's just been on such a long, rough day. I'm glad you caught that, because I was about to cast this entire game with a muted mic. <laughs> We're about to ruin our voices for the next hour and another, another hour and four minutes. <laughs> just for a mic to be muted? Just for a mic to be muted. That's how it be sometimes. Oh. Defending first here on Ascent in map number two. 
and bipolar takes one. But he's got to reposition now as him and Wado hold down A site, getting the smoke down. The KO knife finding two, just waiting to find something. Clutch sitting in an omen smoke right now. A little bit of an early rotation right now. As you can see Va or Faye Jericho going over to A as Clutch is holding mid at the moment. And Point he's going to have to reposition now as it looks like it will be an A push. Jericho holding a corner, waiting to find something. Orb is being picked up right now by Loyola. Lo Loyola. Owen Smoke, that is not third. That is not Armin. So that third. So Quincy is going out right now, as you can already tell by that teleport coming out. Armin tries to teleport Ooh. over, but we'll get taken out in the process. Bipolar, finding one. Jericho Ooh. trying to step in, falls in the process. Waddle falls, Bipolar falls. But he finds one in the process. Clutch has to 1v3 now. So, situation looking oddly familiar for map one. Oh yeah, absolutely. They don't have a stage, so any damage is carried over all over the course of periods of rage grenades going on right now, trying to hold up into heaven as they po or as they plant the spike right now. Spike planted. Clutch slowly peeking around the corner, waiting to find something. And another omen smoke will come out. But clutch unable to get the head tap on omen. Ooh. Finds one on the, the race instead, but falls to the fade all the way in A main and Sagu will go down 0 one to start this map. First game does have a little bit of momentum and a little bit more spending money for the for the winning team but it does not matter in the end game it matters about how you finish and typically sagu drops the first two rounds and then slowly claws their way back but now it's just a matter of closing out the full game and winning mm -hmm. all right that's a little bit weird <laughs> love when the game alt tabs all, all tabs by itself as we can right now see uh is that i'm trying to think clutch is yeah clutch is 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 Having teleport set up between A and, a and uh, mid to have a rotation so he can still hold mid. And Clutch playing this chamber in the mid area, waiting to find something as we're seeing a 2 1 2 defense lineup from Sagu right now. Jericho being a little aggressive on the B side of things, waiting to find something with his W key specter. But it looks like no one will be home. Wada will position for the A side attack. Yeah, we know we were muted. Sorry. Yeah, we fixed it, Taylor. Gotta love the three minute stream delay. Yeah. They even should be like going, going crazy. That's how it is. But finding somebody mid right now, they do have intel on one person, don't know who it is yet, as KO Wado might be hearing something on A. Waiting to find anything as we're a minute left in this round number two, and there's been very little action that's happened so far. Fair KO knife comes out, Wado's gonna step out of the way. That polar sends his mo Molly in. That guy's just gonna wait patiently. Against Sega. Uh, we did not win the last game. Uh, Loyola went one fifteen to seventeen in overtime. Yep. Right here. just waiting for things to happen. That's over. Just taking out in the process. By Polar trying to find something. Ooh. Takes out the fade, but falls. Ogden falls as well, and Clutch is the last player remaining once again. Clutch having only has only having a classic right now. There is a gun, I think, on Fade on on their Fade's body. Maybe a bulldog might be picked up by one of his teammates, as we're gonna see here. As door begins to close, Clutch will have the cover that he needs to go get a gun swap, but there might not be anything around. Sitting out glass, and he's gonna have to rotate around the catwalk and reposition until he can find something back old, back old, back old, he will not have enough better. it does i don't think he'll have enough time he won't have enough time to to no, i think he's gonna play life right here and try and get a cut off from someone getting like the spike there's no reason i don't think there's a reason to play life here uh tell or job goes out right now oh, and a chamber just sitting in the back line taking out clutch in the process and royal will go up yeah. first two rounds there are nothing as segment now i think has a full buy yep. what it looks like at the moment Bipolar was, Bipolar was debating on buying a Spectre that second round, but decides not to. I think Jericho might have been the one that bought a Spectre now. Of He's got to he resort would. to using the Marshall. Uh, of course he does. <laughs> oh, why would he not? Why would he not, right? <laughs> yeah, no, and Jericho doing Jericho things, for real. That'd be sometimes. Now he's gonna get a wall bang with the marshal. I'm calling it. You're calling it? I'm calling it right now. You're calling here. it right now? Alright, he's calling it right now. Ladies and gentlemen, clip that. Clip that? Say less. As. Sagu takes a very aggressive defensive approach right here as Wado and Clutch stepping up to the same area. Bipolar holding a cheeky little corner. Jericho will start to sit more on the backside of B and Ogden will kind of hold middle. Bipolar get taken out and Wado and Clutch will step over to help him out. But an omen smoke will come down. Wado with the blind fire trying to get something but is unable to and he's going to leave. Trying to reposition. Him and Jericho stepping up to heaven. Jericho falls in the process. Molly comes out. And all the has to reposition. Nate comes out. Ogden gets taken out by Saint. 
Oh, yeah. Wado and Clutch have to step up and find something. 2v5 right now. Wado does have a vandal. Map going out, suppressing both Chamber and KO. Can't use their abilities for another four seconds. Ooh, Wado getting Wado one kill. One. Unable to find another. Clutch with a Marshal. Switching to a Bulldog. Trying to make something happen, but it's unable to. And Loyal will go up 3 0. Clutch Eye flicking just a little bit too hard on them. Might have been able to get that kill, but couldn't. But just flick just, just a little bit too hard. And I think if you saw that last round, four SAGA members dying in heaven on A side. Mm -hmm. Bipolar, the only one. But he died in A mid. Uh, not A mid, A main. Um, and just SAGA unable to get the picks that they want and able to push in and capitalize on the site. Zago pulling up a little bit of an aggress very aggressive early defensive approach. Mm -hmm. Very Shit. aggressive. Maybe just maybe just uh, stick back to maybe just a little bit trying to get those those peaks as they do have to push. Jericho trying to get his Delir down, but is unable to get anything. As a one-way smoke comes out, Jericho with all oh, his what I can't remember what it's called. Has to push in. But he's gonna have to back off now as the KO knife shuts him down. That one way smoke from, from David, absolutely killer. Now Loyal is slowly just pushing him like they've been doing. Jericho trying to find something, but is unable to. Gets flashed in the process. He's going to step way back. Probably comes out. Kale Molly and all the utils being used here on a main. Jericho playing the smoke right now with his sheriff. Putting down a pool, maybe for anybody close by. Knife going out right now does not surprise anyone, but Raze does kill Clutch Eye with the Vandal in middle. Loyal will be playing the rotate now as Bipolar will be the only one on B. Trying to make something happen. Jericho unable to land his shots with the Sheriff. He tries to reposition now with only five health remaining. And he gets taken Aww. out by Bubbles. Bipolar off of Narnia now, and Ogden and Water are going to play retake. Ogden finds one. Getting the Vandal pick up. That's a, a very good swap. A little weapon swap right there. Made the claim for life. A white peak by Saint, but does not matter. Ogden does kill him. Wado does kill Grace, but could not finish that. Wado does kill Bubbles as a 2v1. Wado is super low health as Omen tells teleport. Teleport comes out, and more than likely, he has a spike. It could either be a fake and he stays at A or he's going to B, but it sounds like he went to B as bipolar. The shots ring out, and the spike has now been planted. Wado and bipolar trying to make something happen. Wado with his knife out instead of his weapon and bipolar will fall in the process wado trying to step up and find something but i'm not not sure where the omen went he gets the suppression wado wait patiently trying to make something happen it looks like he's going to stick to this, um the spike rose don't fit getting the half and maybe i don't want to go all the way but instead he's omen will kick around and wado will go up 0-4 Rose did not fake. Getting the half is probably a lot more important than getting a full, full, uh, uh, defuse. I definitely think that he probably should have stopped at the half. <laughs> and no, he definitely would have gotten the kill at half. He also definitely would have gotten the kill if he didn't have his knife out. Oh, yeah. yeah. his weapon when he peaked. And, I mean, it was just an unfortunate loss right there. Just little things that can be cleaned up to get yeah. those round wins. Just an unfortunate timing by Sagu right there. Yeah. That's just how it be sometimes. It you gotta imagine they're still tired after map one. They just gotta regain. Here. Dude, so I'm still tired after map one. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even play. <laughs> you gotta sit here and talk the full time. That's what it is. Find you. About to, about to relax as fade. Uh, uh, eyeball. Eyeball. I think it's technically a leer. I don't know. Is it a leer? I thought that eh, would be a leer. Rain is a leer. Jericho just wait and find something. And this one way smoke from Omen. Hey, Omana going a little bit too far. Go, 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 go. Probably he won it out. Jericho finding Ooh. one pick and he's gonna back off now and reposition. Great play from Jericho. Saw that, saw that little foot out there and decided to pre-fire as soon as he went back to the right. The Prowler gets one as a flash comes out. Jericho trying to find something with his other Prowler, unable to. Ogden steps up, but he doesn't see anyone. Ogden may not want to be able to push this at the moment. The Lear comes out, unable to see anyone, and Ogden staring at nothing. He grabs uh, the Ogden. orb, and he's gonna reposition now. Ogden's staring at nothing. Water Water finds one. One Spike kill on Fade. Kale ultimately actually came out while we were knocking. Wado gets taken out with a wall bang. But Bipolar will protect him from one. But Bipolar needing to find another. He waits, so he gets taken out in the process. Jericho left. steps over, tries to help out, one and he finds one as the door begins to close in his face. Down, Clutch feet. falling in the process, and Ogden's on the wide rotate. Theo does die at the last second, but Chamber decides to pre-fight at the door as soon as it breaks. Right now, Jericho is too health. 
Lear goes out right now, maybe catching that chamber. Does catch that chamber right now, a little bit of an intel. Ogden waits to find something, mm. but he pulls his util out at the wrong time once again, and Saint will take a walk away with an ace. Chamber doing a really good job trying to play that spike and trying and just picking off one by one. It's like not pushing as a team that much as much as we saw in the first game, but defending. The timeout will be called <laughs> on Sagu's side. I definitely think a lot of it is unfortunate um, timing with their their util coming out, trying to find something. They don't have their weapons up, able to get something. And Rob is going to take a second, pull the team back, and say, hey, let's take a breather, let's regroup, reform, and make something happen here. And this is definitely what's needed. So I talked to Wado about after last week is there were times they could have called a timeout, and they didn't, and it, it caused them to lose. And so... This time, they're taking a second there. to breathe and there. focus up because they're down five rounds there. now. Yeah. And that's not what you want to see a quarter yeah, of the way through this map, too. And you got to find something. Momentum right now is key in the second map. As they just there. lost the first round, they need to bring back that momentum that they lost in that first round into the second into yep. the second game to keep on the series going, to, go in, to force us into a third game. Or at least maybe an overtime in the second game. As much as we don't like to have an overtime, <laughs> And it goes an hour and four minutes and 26 seconds. We want to walk away with a dub. We want to walk away with a dub. So if that means going into overtime, if that means winning a couple rounds, uh, uh, one time, at, 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 one round after another, then so be it. That's just how it be sometimes as we're getting back in to the match here. Stagu, round six, needing something to change. What it looks like right now is three ultimates being up for Sagu, two ultimates up for being uh, for Loyola. Fate ultimate is up. It might be holding a maybe a retake on the site, but we're not quite sure. Jericho and Ogden both using a lot of detail here immediately as Jericho gets blinded. I see a blind going out right now. It's only smokes popping out. A lot of detail being used here on a site. The flash comes out. Ogden falls in the process. Jericho just trying to blind fire, but gets taken out as well. Wado falls in the process by Fuller trying to get something, but he's got to run away, but get, barely gets hit by that. Like he's playing a 2v5 right now. Fade ult is out. Dog is destroyed. Clutch right does get one kill on Omen, making this a 4v2. Uh, Bipolar does have his ultimate. Might want to be able to use it, but he dies instantly. Does not check his right side corner as Bubbles takes him. Clutch getting a weapon swap onto the Vandal. Needs to find uh, four picks here now as time is dwindling down on the spike. Clutch just waiting patiently to find something. The knife comes out, KO. Clutch will not shoot it out and gets detected anyways. Finds one. But time will not be in Clutch's favor as he backs off. As someone starts to shoot at him and he falls to the raise as Spike rings out and Sagu goes down 0-6. to six. Sagu Nian doing a little bit of a change right here. As Loyla is halfway to win this game second or second game in the series. Tiger just needs a huge momentum shift and they're gonna have to win multiple rounds in a row if they want to get back into this game. But right now things are looking pretty grim. They need a little bit of a hole for themselves. Sagu has four right ultimates here. up, might be wanting to use them, but we will see. I think it's a good time for Clutch to use his as we need to save here in a little bit. The econ is not in our favor. And Sagu just waiting to find uh, their first round win here on map two on the center. As you can already tell Chamber already using his ult at the moment. Ooh, back. A lot of ult use. Otto dies in the process. Bipolar trying to find something. Jericho stays alive just a bit longer. Clutch and Ognan trying to stay alive here. Clutch pulls out his ultimate. Holding a very wide and weird angle. Maybe they've already uh, uh, obtained and contained mid. Jericho falls. Clutch Ooh. finds one. Get a leg shot on Bubbles, but goes get hit by the Prowler in the process. Leg shot, body shot, head shot, still one shot with the chamber ult. He's going to peek mid just one more time. Just waiting to find something, but no one will be peeking at this moment. Nobody As 50 seconds to. is left in this round. Ogden trying to find one, but falls to Saint. And it looks like the wall, the door will be closed, and Sagu will not have to play retake. Clutch and bipolar. Clutch decides not to go in between the, the door and still inside the smoke. Not no, knowing what to do here. Bipolar Spike takes up on the spawn. Injury. Omen smoke goes down, so Bipolar does have time to see and react at the moment. So you're waiting to play retake here as a chamber ult still is out. Bipolar waiting to find something. He peeks just a little too far. The shots begin to ring out. They're on a time limit now. Bipolar peeks on the corner, but doesn't find anything. Clutch steps up, misses his first shot, gets taken out on his left-hand side, and Sagu falls another round. 
I think Bipolar probably should have used his ult maybe right there on a little bit of Boathouse, maybe a little bit like above Boathouse. This should try to have some cover fight and some distractions. But now, but Saigu has three ults up and they need to make something happen. One kills, the other two gain information and they gotta start doing something different otherwise they will fall again and again and again. Zagu right now definitely not winning their fights and not playing as a team as I, I want to say not playing as a team at the moment not not playing a 2v1 Loyola doing really good at double peeking if one person falls and the other person takes the kill as a trade and shots begin to ring out yet again here on A and Wado finding a collide that is huge for him right now and huge for Sagu as Sagu is now having advantage by at least two lives Okay, right now he's being surprised by the KO or by our KO knife. Flash might be coming out a little bit of an underhand toss. Wado finding no one. Jericho takes someone in the back. Trying to blind fire. Wado unable to find anyone. My polar looking towards the B side. Jericho finding one with the frenzy. Ogden falls. Jericho's gonna have to back off just a smidge. But he's not scared. Molly comes out, but it won't be in position that gets Jericho. Jericho steps up, missing his shots, and he's going to turn and run. Jericho needs to run and play for his life right now as the Brimstone and KO are flanking from the side. Chamber is. Lear comes out. Jericho knows where the both are, but he has a frenzy. He needs to make something happen. Tries to get free fire. Doesn't land anything. Look at Brimstone and KO right now. Going for the flank, getting one kill. Saint does kill Jericho in the process, but Jericho is the last person to me. A polar finds two, and now Sagu will get the first round win of map number two. An amazing, amazing pick and a flank from both Bipolar and Wado. That was a huge collapse from Wado there. I wish Ooh. we had a replay to go back and view that. I wish we had a replay. We need to have a replay into uh, uh, We're uh, working reset. on that. We're, we're working on that. that. Okay, we're, we're working on we, that. We got minimal gear right now. We're trying to work with what minimal we got. Minimal gear is what you said. <laughs> but um, this Sagu now getting one on the board, and they have a long way back. Maybe they can get a little bit on attacking. But they need to just continue to get whatever they can here on this defensive half. I uh, I think it was last week that they were down like like zero and six, and they won like four or, or five uh, rounds in a row, or something like that. So definitely possible for Sagu. Oh, it's always winnable until you lose, and the odds may not be in your favor, but you gotta win anyway. As the Omen ult begins to ring out, Sagu trying to reposition and make something happen. See right now, they might be playing for B right now instead of A. Omen teleport coming out. Like is playing nine coming out, maybe suppressing one people. Wow! Bottom and bipolar are both finding one. Ogden falls in the process. Sagu's gonna try to push on to the three point retake. Wado falls. Jericho trying to find something. Bipolar gets one pick. A little bit. Finds another. Uh, Jericho gets a trade in his favor. Jericho's ult rings out. He knows he's in boathouse. He just has to find him now. There he is, Jericho gets the kill, and hopefully the defuse and Sagu will go down. Well, they'll get a win, they'll they're get still a, down 2-7. They'll, they'll, they'll get a win, yes. What a, uh, uh, that is communication by Sagu right there. That's, the, that's basically what we needed for the last couple of rounds. And now hopefully they can keep the eco in their favor and continue to buy these vandals and stay alive and shut down this um, Loyola squad, attacking squad, and continue to win more rounds. Now ultimates coming out here will probably be chamber this round, maybe for a little bit of an eco, as they did buy, I think they did buy a full, full build uh, uh, last round, so chamber probably will be using his ultimate, and we're about to find out. I'm waiting for the... I'm waiting for I'm waiting for the chamber Broken chamber. Shadows Looks like they will wait just a tad bit longer to use it as it will be another A push. Utila has continued to be used time and time again here on A main as Ogden will now take a cheeky corner spot. Jericho waiting to hold main and Wado holding backside of A to help position just a little bit better. Trap on B side. Nobody's at B. What an interesting play by Sagu. Jericho falling in the mid. Jericho finding one to help him out. Prowler comes out, but will not find anyone. Sagu having to reposition. A trade for a trade, like I said, a double peek. If one person dies, at least the other person can get a, a, a kill or maybe two. At least some intel off of, off of what Loyola does. But that chamber that chamber trap might not work right now because he's down. Jericho hearing a flash ring out. Lotto getting some more util. Ogden peeking out, finds one, gets taken out in the process. 3v3 as Loyola yeah, might rotate. Smoke going out, knife going again, that A main. Jericho just sitting in the smoke waiting for someone to walk around the corner. Where's the judge so when you need him out. Yeah, where is the judge when you where need him? Where is the judge when you need it? Left. 
Where's the Spectre? W key is Spectre when you need one, am I right? Time slowly starts to tick down as Loyola has yet to plant. Bipolar missing his peak, and he gets taken out through mid. Jericho and Wado having to get a retake here and a 2v3. Jericho finding the wow. corner camping chamber. Ten seconds left. Very interesting. Both KO ultimates coming out right now. Wado starts to push in haunt, not Spike finding planted. anyone. Spike has been now planted. Jericho and Wado playing retake in a 2v2. Jericho moving around towards the left side. KO knife comes out. Jericho not finding anyone off site. We start to push in together. Jericho with the wall bang, not finding anything. Omen taking out Wado. Jericho left all by his lonesome. Waiting to find a peek. Jericho peeks out. Jericho finds one. Jericho, Jericho finds, finds a second. Stick. Jericho with a four piece and another round win for Sagu. Super close by Jericho. Almost dying in the process, but getting that last double kill to clutch up this third win, or third round for, for Sagu as three to seven. I'm telling you, dude, it's a Jericho dip. That's what it is. It's a Jericho dip. That's what it is. <laughs> Jericho on fade. Jericho clutching up. A couple definitely different from the Sage gameplay that we saw on Icebox, as that was a lot more uh, planting control and helping the team out. This is more about killing and finding your enemies. Absolutely. And Sagu clawing back slowly but surely, needing to take these last two rounds in the half in order to pull it back ever so slightly before they go on the attacking side. And they're doing much better now after they called that timeout. There. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> like, well, they, 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 dropped, they, they dropped one round. They dropped one round. <laughs> and then they won the next three. The first one was. The first, first one was real. Yeah, so it's okay. Ooh. Ooh. And that ult comes out. Jericho getting hit by the knife in the process. But Sagu having to move as many ults are being used. The fatal coming out on B. They already know it's on. They're gonna. Uh, Loyola is gonna be on B at the moment. Drop coming out a chamber. They definitely do know that they bring push on B. No one's on B right now. Sagu, already trying to play retake. Shooting up the door. Like you're trying to walk in as a raise and it rings out. Jericho trying to throw something in. Not finding anything. Ognan on the flank. Isn't find, able to find a pick, but Jericho finds one. Ooh. Clutch and Jericho fall in the process. Wado stepping over to help. But Ognan falls. Ult comes out from Bipolar, but not finding anyone. Wado and Bipolar are the only two left remaining as they have to take out four themselves. Wado taking out the Leer. Takes out Sate in the process as well. The 2v3. Wado seeing one on site. Stepping over. Unable to find oh. one. And Bipolar having to find one, but he can't find the last two. And Loyal will get another round win. Really, really rough right there. No utils Last used by Wada at the moment. The but as you can see right now, Fade does have her ultimate. Chamber does have his ultimate. His last round before halftime as we go into this with full buys. Everything must be used. Everything must go. It's looking like a Toys R Us out here right now. All ultimates will ring out. All the, the eco will be used. And I expect to see some crazy plays here in round number 12. Did you really just use a Toys R Us reference? I really did just use a Toys R Us reference. I know, but why? <laughs> I don't know. It just seemed fitting for the moment. Did it really? <laughs> yeah, everything Was has to really go. Necessary? You want yep. to play? Let's play. Game roller coming out right now as uh, Fade on A main is being signed. Oh no, no, sorry, my bad. On uh, on the right side mid is being silenced. Wado holding mid as well as clutch. Wado maybe going back to A main. Is Lola for the first time? For, for, for the very Ooh, Wado getting a kill by Omen. 30 health left. Again, there's no Sage on enemy team, so he's going to have to deal with that and play safe for the rest of this round. And it sounds like an Operator rang out in mid. Jericho, not Jericho, Clutch will have to wait just a tad bit longer before he can peek again. Bipolar stepping over with the Bulldog to help him out. Mm -hmm. Bipolar having a really quick... Ooh. But not finding anything. Bipolar falling to the opposing page. Jericho repositioning on A site as there's three on A with Clutch playing all by him lonesome. And he finds one on the opposing fade. Huge play from Clutch as it's Sagu has advantage four to three. Again, Wado needs to be playing it safe right now. As you can already see, he's in heaven. But Clutch is kind of holding that market area and his trap is holding that B that, that B main. Ogman getting a smoke on A main, trying to give him and Wado some cover. As there's 30 seconds remaining. Flash and a nade ring out, but no one sees Ogden sitting on the top corner. Wado taking out one, Ogden getting another as Wado falls in the process. Trying to take out the race, but will not be able to. Jericho using his ult, trying to find something, using all of his util here to take out this race. Absolutely definite. It's a 1v1 right now. 10 seconds left. Nine seconds. Jericho will close it out with a round win. Sagu only down by four rounds on the switch.
Jericho playing Switching that sides. time, knowing exactly that it took so long to even push. That's the thing about slow push. They might, or Sagu might not know where you are, but time is definitely a uh, key, especially when you're trying to plant. That's definitely what Sagu more than likely will end up doing here. They will slow push until Loyola will overcommit, and then Sagu tries to get the picks. But when they move, they move, and they use all their util to get on the site and get the plant. Oh. There. I can smell her perfume every single time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sagu waiting to push, looking at the scoreline. Jericho leading the team 11 9, Wado 10 11. Jericho's the only one positive for Sagu right now, as Loyola has four positives, and that definitely could be why Sagu's down by four rounds. Against the round, Jericho falls early on, trying to get his util out. Clutch and Ogden waiting to find something. Two members right now really low on, on um, Sagu's health. Again, no Sage. They have to play with that. They have to play a lot safer, but Omen and Chamber are going to be rough. Knife goes out, suppressing Fade 5v4 right now. Bipolar just waiting to peek as the flash comes out from KO. Trying to find something. Wado <laughs> finding one as they back away from the raised boom bot. Sagu starts pushing a little bit closer. Wado falls in the process. Bipolar getting the pick and the trade in his favor. Stepping over, but unable to find one on the chamber. Spike Clutch slowly eight. pushing in. Waiting to find something. And he falls. Ogden trying to loop around, find something with his frenzy. It is a 1v3 with 14 health and a frenzy and a dream. It's how it be sometimes. It is how it be right now. Like, spike is down right now and doesn't have a spike. It's 41 seconds left to make a move. Okay, flashing flashing himself. himself, but it was all part of the plan. It was a tactical whip. It was calculated, and the Omen will take Ogden out in the process. Loyal up uh, nine. I don't think that was a tactical whip, but you know we can call it what it is right it now. Was a, it was a bait and switch. Flashing, That's definitely what it was. Flashing himself and going in the cover, knowing his mistakes, but a double peek by not only Chamber but Fate. It was a VCT play right there where Kale flashed himself, steps out of the way, and only kills him. It's all about misdirection. No, that's not what it is. That yeah, that's was, what it is. That was a lucky play. That's definitely what it is. Absolutely lucky. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Saigu trying to get a B push this time around. Jericho walking with his candy cane. Christmas time. It is Christmas time. Put you to the ghost last second as Saigu starts to step into the mid and onto B site. Okay, I'm not coming out a little bit too high on A as we saw just a little bit. Jericho oh. the chamber, but Hem and Wado are unable to take him out. Jericho's going to reposition now. He definitely does teleport away back to the spawn as he's trying to get a cheeky peek right now. Ogden falling to the omen. Jericho falls to the process. Clutch getting one, but Wado falling as well. Spike ball getting one kill, but Saint with a Guardian killing Bipolar. Spike is down mid, and that Guardian is protecting that Spike. As smoke is still up from the Bipolar. Such in a 1v3 situation with a Spectre, and yet another dream trying to make something happen to defend the Sagu, <laughs> Sagu deficit, I guess you could say, trying, to, trying Try to reel it back. Trying to, trying to close that gap, at least maybe get a win or get a couple kills off just so they don't have full buys. Another one sometimes it's clutch. Just waiting patiently for someone to get aggressive and peek. But instead, he'll get shot in the back by opposing fade. And sad. <laughs> Loyola now in the double digits. 4 10 right now. Second, Mike. Second does not have a timeout right now. A little bit different from Loyola, what we saw in Icebox. Yep. Uh, Sago having to use her timeout very early on just to get four round wins, but yet it has not been enough. Loyola still moving on win by win, trying to Sago just trying to find something to slow down their momentum, but right now it hasn't been working. Bottle will be the first one to walk into sight for Sagu as they're pushing A yet again, trying to make something happen as they wait for the util to ring out. Looks like a knife will come down from heavens above and Ogden will get hit by it. Only Ogden though, nobody, they don't know. Ooh, oh, lineups, lineups, Larry. lineups, lineups, lineup lineup Larry. Larry. He's doing the thing. Here we go. Where did this land right now? Oh. Aww. <laughs> you did all that water for nothing. Oh, 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 okay, okay, oh, okay, oh. okay. Uh, oh. Come, uh, uh. <laughs> come on, water, do it. Wait, he's waiting he, for the right. There we it. go. He did the thing. <laughs> Line up, Larry. I have no idea. Find something. Ogden finding one with the bulldog. Pressing the KO. And all the utils being used now. Wado getting on the side. Finds one. Jericho gets taken down. Bipolar trying to find something. He is unable to lay anything. Fade has four. But the only one still sitting in the smoke. 
but 1v3 yet again. Just trying to find something. Faze looking for the ace now. I was just gonna wait patiently. Clutch is gonna be sitting inside the spot right now, putting a little bit of teleport down, maybe for an escape plan. But it might be enough with only. But 30 seconds remaining, 30 something seconds has left. to happen now. Oh, and the leader fighting Clutch. Yeah, I think he takes it down in time. Stepping up just a little bit closer. Has to make something happen. Tries to get the blind fire, but nothing will land. Clutch is trying to play safe right here. Maybe life trying to save a vandal. As he peeks, he will oh. bait and switch, and the fade will get her ace as Loyal goes up 11 to 4. A very interesting, a very interesting play by Saku, waiting for the last second. That knife delaying, only, only getting one person, only getting the KO as we, as we saw. But man, that absolute full push needs to be pushed by all Saku members, not just one at a time. That was a textbook bait and switch from the chamber and fade right there to get the ace and close up the round. But Saku using so much util, trying to push through a main, but they just were not getting the kills that they wanted to get in the process, and that's what denied them the point. And now they are down another round trying to find something. I think it wasn't a matter of time, it was a matter of landing the shots. Light shield's coming out right now from Jericho, and I wouldn't be surprised by the other Sagu members as they don't have enough money for that knife going out on A main. Looking like Sagu has three people on B and maybe mid as Bipolar and Jericho are, are baiting A. Sagu very spread out right now, just waiting to find one pick, but in the process, Clutch falls in the back line and Sagu's having to move forward to stay, <laughs> stay alive just a tad bit longer. But Jericho and Bipolar are unable to find anything. They're going out right now. It is destroyed. A haunt is what it's called. Prowler coming out again. Maybe destroyed again. No, it expires actually. Ogden with a frenzy going on left side. Maybe tree. Waddle getting taken out in mid by the opposing rays. Ogden trying to get to heaven, but he has to go through window. But in the process, gets taken out by the KO. Bipolar finding one, but gets blinded in the process. Having to blind fire, gets taken out. And now Loyal will go up onto match point. Match point. Again, it's not over. It is 412. I've seen worse. I've seen worse. It's always winnable. It's always winnable. It's always winnable. No matter how low the chances are, it is always winnable. Saku just needs to make something happen now. Only we had another timeout. <laughs> if only we had one more timeout. If only. If only we didn't go down <laughs> zero to seven at the very yes. beginning. But you know, that's just how it be sometimes. Loyal uh, just playing a set textbook perfect right now. Absolutely, absolutely. Right now we can see ultimates up for bipolar and rays are the only people that have their ults up. A uh, full buy, as you can see. Seer or Haunt, Haunt coming out, not Seer, Haunt coming out. Ogden does kill Fade, but that Ray's rocket launcher killing Ogden as a solo ult. Sometimes Jericho taken out in mid, the rest of Sagu starts to push into A main. Mid right now is wide open Fade, or uh, Sagu needs to be careful on that left side on Switch. Oh, and the flash right comes out, but right, Sagu unable to get the kill on the KO. I have him. The spike has now been planted in Sagu's favor, and Loyal's gonna have to play retake, but they have advantage. Smokes right now going up in heaven as Molly coming out. Clutch does kill Raze, but Omen does kill Clutch and return as a 1v1 trade, 2v3. Not in Saki's favor right now, but they are holding to the best they can. It was super Auto close. Trying to find something against the Beacon, but it will not be enough to bubble six him out. And bubble six out Bipolar as well. And Loyal just has to defuse the spike, and then it will be game. GG. What a great game by not only Saki, but Loyal as a team. Definitely put double peaking. Defenders win. Those, those uh, uh, a lot, a lot of different peaks that they just were communicating on. I mean, we didn't, yep. we couldn't do that as well as Loyal we could. It was just rough. That's just how it be sometimes. Loyal walking away with the 2-0 victory over Sagu tonight. As you can see on the scoreboard, just outplaying Sagu in every aspect of the game, and that's mm -hmm. just how it be sometimes. But now I think Sagu is four and four at the end of their regular season play here mm -hmm. in the ECAC regular season. They're all done now. Their season's They're complete. They have to wait two weeks now for playoffs to start up and hopefully be able to make a run. That gives them time to practice. That gives them time to, to communicate with each other, build out a lot more chemistry because. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with building more chemistry with your team. You cannot, you cannot build too much chemistry with your team. Absolutely not. So trying to maybe get some, get some lineup, get some practicing, get some ranked in, you know, mm -hmm. trying, to get, trying to get some team compositions, maybe trying out new characters for these next two weeks, but Sagu need to do something to, to keep this, to keep their momentum going into these next playoffs. And that's just how it be, and I think Sagu will take the week off for Thanksgiving here next week, and then nah. come back hopefully bigger and better than ever going into the playoffs. I know yeah. they went two rounds deep, I think, last, last semester, so hopefully 
constantly trying to trying to outplay that than they did before. That way they can always be improving, always getting better. But I think that will do it here for us at yep. the table tonight. As always, this match will be uploaded to YouTube later. So go be sure to go subscribe to us on Sagu Esports on YouTube Shameless to plug. to go back and watch that that epic map one back again. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. That's how it be. Also go follow our Instagram to know when we go live because we post shameless the stories plug. all the time. You have to shameless plug during the outro. That's just how it is sometimes. What are we, a YouTube channel now? <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, apparently, because we're uploading to YouTube. Anyways, that will do it here for us tonight at Sag of Esports. We hope that you all have a blessed night. We thank you all for watching. And my name was 414. My na your name was? Is. There you go. My name is Syntix. <laughs> and we will see you all next time. See ya. <laughs>